Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah and today we are back playing seven days to die So like I said, I was going to do last time we are actually uh, Starting a fresh game now that we know a little bit better exactly what we're doing It's kind of we can kind of figure it out from scratch make our lives a little bit easier that way um, so I've actually Spawned into the new game a couple times now uh, because last time I was in like some terrible desert area that looked like it would be absolutely terrible and there was no resources anywhere. Um, so now we are in some desolate wasteland of looks like a fire ran through here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try again. Um, so we're going to work our way through the very first few quests, you know, craft a stone axe and ooh, what's that? What did I just pick up? Uh, brass car radiator? Sounds like something we'll probably break down. Uh, so we're gonna work our way through our first few quests, kind of see what we can find. We are right next to a house that looks to be a three-story house, which somebody told me is a good thing, because three-story houses give you more room to hide or something or the other. I don't know. But we're gonna gather stuff up, make an axe. What do we actually need? Two more stones. Okay, we can do that. There's one, and there is two. And now let's go ahead and craft up our axe, stone axe, and what are we missing? What are we missing? Plant fibers, okay. Plant fibers, plant fibers, there we go. Now we should be able to do it no problem. So we got here, and stone axe, and craft. Awesome! And I think the next thing I want to do is make some clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather a bunch of materials, start getting things ready to go, and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, we have been gathering up all sorts of materials, and there seems to be some kind of animal over here. What is it? A, uh, oh, some kind of rabbit. Come here. Uh-oh. Hot. Oh, I'm standing in some kind of fire. Slow down, little rabbit. I want your hide. Where'd it go? But I really want to kill as a bird to get some more feathers. I've been gathering some from nests, but... What? Where'd it go? Ah. Uh. I guess it lives lives another day. It seems to have eluded me just a tad. Uh, but we definitely need to get some kind of hide or something. I don't know, for just for moving on up. <laughs> so I've been gathering tons of stuff. Let's go ahead and head over to that house that we started by. And uh, we'll start kind of crafting up and see what we, what we need. I haven't actually crafted the clothing, which is only the second quest. But I should have enough stuff to get through the next couple quests, I think. If I remember correctly. Um, we should be gathering stuff on the way, shouldn't we? Okay, I haven't looked in the house yet either, so we can go ahead and explore that and kind of see what we can find. Okay. Hopefully this door- Oh, ah, ah, ow. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, uh, why? Why? Okay, so, when you see large spikes, don't go near them. Note to self. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's in here. Uh, unlocked door. Awesome. Uh, some kind of fireplace table. What's in the fridge? Nothing. What's in the oven? A cooking pot and a can. Okay, that, that might be helpful. Uh, gas can schematic. Okay. We can pick some stuff up. Wooden chairs and whatnot. Okay, what else is in here? This is kind of a big house. Ooh, medicine cabinet. Nothing. Search fancy toy. <laughs> Alright. So this is level one. This was a multi-layer house. Can we only get to the upper layers by going outside? It looks like it. All right, let's go check it out. Essentially what we're trying to do is just get everything prepared for the first night. Um, last time the first night I just kind of wandered around to know what was going on. But now I know that it's best to just hide and not move until the night's over. Candles, sure. Okay, bed. Ooh, there's a campfire already up here, which is fantastic. Okay, so this place is pretty, uh... Oh, and we can repair things. Okay. We got a picture. Let's take it. Awesome. Now, I thought there was a third level, but I guess it's just a tall second level. Alright, let's go ahead and step outside where it's a little brighter, and let's go ahead and make some of this stuff so we can make the clues. We need fiber gloves, fiber hat, fiber hood, pants, shirt, shoes. Actually, I don't think we need the hat. Can I cancel that? Awesome. Okay, so now we go and equip these things. We got gloves, which go in the glove spot. Hood. We got, uh, what was the next thing? Where is it? There it goes. Pants. 
Man, these things are taking a long time. And there we go. What are we missing? Shoes. A shirt. We need a shirt. I could have sworn I clicked the shirt button. And shirt. Let's go ahead and craft this sucker up. And then I don't remember what the next quest is. We're going to find out in just a second, though, as soon as this thing's done. And when that's going, we can go ahead and scrap some of these things. Uh, we don't need that. And a shirt. Awesome. Perfect. So let's see if it tells us what the next quest is. While looking at that, I'm going to go ahead and search around and see what else we can find. Did I already search this car? I did. And I searched this cooler. Okay, now we need to make a club. Okay, we already have all the stuff we need for that. So that should be fairly quick. C-L-U-B. Craft. Two. Awesome. Now we can move this here. Move, please. And move. We got a club. Now we need a bow and arrows. So we should have the stuff for that as well. I already made sure we get lots of feathers. Let's go ahead and craft a bow. And then arrows. How many arrows does it want us to make? Two? Um, how about not? How about we make 58? That seems like a better number to me. All right, we're gonna let those craft up and then we'll see what's next. All right, so we've got some arrows made and we already started making some wood frames. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, wood frames. So now we're gonna go ahead and place these. So I'm thinking, let's look around. Okay, because we wanna protect this place a little bit because it's where we're gonna be. Look at that, what is this? Can we re repair this wall? Oh yeah, look at that. So we can absolutely repair things, which is great. Oh, I'm so excited that I'm learning so many new things about this, okay. So here we have got some spikes. Okay, let's repair these spikes. Uh-uh. Beautiful. Because these will help keep the zombies out when nighttime comes. Um, is this just cost us some wood? That's no big deal. Perfect. And then I think we're going to put these wood frames kind of right in front. Um, ah, whoa, what? Why am I on fire? Okay. Well, that was terrifying. I wonder if there's a way I can... Can I get rid of this fire or something? I don't know if it'll help us or not. Oh, I can destroy it, but... Maybe it'll help us. Maybe it'll keep zombies away. I don't even know. So many things I don't know about this game. Okay, let's repair this one. Awesome. Let's take our wood frames. Uh, nope, that's not what we want. This, 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 this. I want to put them right in front. Look at that. Because I should be able to get over those. Ah, crap. Because I think I should be able to jump over these pretty easily. But it'll keep... Right, because if I'm like running, I'm like, ah, and I can get up and over, but maybe it'll keep them from getting in there. And now we should be able to upgrade them. Ooh, can we upgrade them more? Oh, we can. Let's double upgrade these suckers. And it looks like to upgrade them more, we need something else. Okay, so now we need to make a bedroll and place it. And we're gonna go ahead and place it upstairs. I'm thinking this is just a fine spot. Let's go, mm. bed. Let's go ahead and craft that sucker. Okay, we're gonna let that craft, and while that's going, is that a zombie or is that an animal? Oh, it's a pig. We I kinda wanna kill that. Let's go kill that pig. Stand up. Let me, let me out. Okay, where was it? Which direction was it in? Um, it was out the back, I think. Oh, pig, you are going down. There it is. Let's see if we can just... Can we get it while we're running? No, let's just get close. It's slow. Sucker, slow! Oh, how's it feel? Oh, yeah. So now we should be able to harvest it and get some hide, hopefully. Maybe some, oh, there's some meat. Hide. Oh, what's that yellow one that got popped up? All right. Come on. Take it down. And that's it. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. It gets grosser and grosser. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so what is all that stuff? We got animal fats. That's cool and raw meat. Now that will attract zombies, but I'm not super worried about that right this second. Um, arrows, I think we're gonna need more arrows. It's the right way, right? Yes, back to the house. 
Um, but I think what we need to do first is fortify everything. Oh, there's another one right there. That's right. We'll wait. We'll wait. We don't need to. We don't need to chase everybody down. The most important thing for us to do is simply fortify our house so we can hide at nighttime. Um, so there's some. I want to repair everything. No, okay, everything's gonna be a little excessive, isn't it? Okay, door for sure. Upgrade this sucker best we can. Oh man, these are all blocks. So this could be a while. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on repairing this stuff and then I'll bring you back. Okay, we are running because fire zombie. What the heck? That's a fire zombie. And we can't have no fire zombies around us. So let's see if we can take this sucker out. Okay, he's stunned. Get him while he's down. Oh, beautiful. Okay, is there any more around? Search burn victim, how terrible. Okay, we got some stuff. Okay, so now things are starting to come out. So we I gathered a ton of wood. Now we just gotta get back to the house and keep fortifying it. Um, and hopefully that'll help us out a lot. So there are already some spikes. So I've been going around plugging up all the holes. Um, see how there's no more holes down here. I've been working upstairs as well because I don't know if they can see you um, or not or, oh, or what the deal is. I'm gonna repair this. There we go. Yeah, patch this sucker up because nighttime is happening soon and I don't want to be screwed like I was last time. Can I get there? Yes. Last time was rough. I can't get that one. Okay. So I'm gonna keep patching up holes hopefully get ourselves in a nice safe-esque place to be able to well, go through the night okay so i put up a barricade at the bottom of these stairs that i should be able to jump over but they would have trouble getting in this way so if i need to escape i can still use it for that um and i've repaired as many holes as i can reach oh can i i just couldn't reach this one from there can i reach it from here come on repair Oh, is that it? Oh, awesome, okay. So there's no real holes left up here. Man, it is dark. Where's my torch? Uh, torch. So we can see a little better. There we go, I patched up as many holes as I could reach here. Is this the one we just came in? No, I also made a little bit of barricade here, even though it'd be really hard for me to get in this way anyways. And uh, I kind of went through and re just repaired everything, did the best I could to keep it safe. So now it's just a matter of, wait, is this another door or is this the same one? That's the same one, okay. So now it's just a matter of waiting out the night. Um, let's go check out down here. See everything here, there should be no holes downstairs at all. Um, there's only this one door and I blocked it this way, though I think I could do a better job at blocking it here. Uh, do we have time? I don't see any zombies around. Let me make it, just make it a little taller. Yeah, okay, let's make this a little taller. So let's make some more. Make it at least too high, I'm thinking. Um, I don't know what is needed. Let's make a few of these. That's uh, because we always gonna need more of these, it seems like, anyways. There we go. And five. There we go. And build it up this way, too. Yeah, there's no way these suckers are gonna get in here. At least not the first night. I don't know what's gonna happen on day seven. But I know that the first night can't be this that bad. Okay, so they, I mean, they could probably still tear down walls and stuff, but um, this would just make it a lot more difficult. It'll definitely make it easy for me to run away if I need. and also give me the opportunity to kill them from different angles, I think. There's different entrances to this building. All right, let's get these last couple, and then we'll wait out the night. Okay, because I can't put any there on the stairs themselves now, but I can probably repair those stairs. I don't know if that's even needed or helpful. Perfect. All right, so now I think I'm just gonna go inside and wait out the night. All right, guys, but I think waiting, uh, going through the first night is gonna have to be in the next video, because for today, I do think that is gonna be it. If you guys did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, and of course, uh, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. You can also hit me up on my Patreon at patreon.com slash ObadiahX or on all your own normal social medias. You know, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus, the whole deal. But for today, guys, that is going to be it. Um, we definitely got a lot more done this time than we did the first time around. That's for sure. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, I will see you guys again next time.